transport destinations follow. Alpha, Western Sector. Beta. Alpha, you are cleared to take off. Check. Good luck and good hunting. You lead Team Alpha, one of three expeditionary teams sent out by the project to recover artifacts from before the collapse. Your destination lies in the Western Zone. Commander, you are to establish a base in this sector. Once the base is established, begin your search for a pre-collapse structure located in this sector. This building is believed to contain advanced neural synapse technology that is vital to the success of the project. Power resource. And now, welcome to the official start of the Mouse Masters Warzone 2100 Semi-Commentary Campaign Walkthrough and Strategy Guide. This will be semi-commentary because, although I don't wish to talk constantly throughout the video, there will be times when I need to speak up to fulfill the Strategy Guide portion of that description. To that end, I will occasionally pause the action to describe any relevant technologies or discuss our side's battle plans or important upcoming enemy actions. But for starters... Incoming Intelligence Report. Mission Timer Activated. Briefing commences. Scavenger Raiders are approaching our base. Defend the base, then destroy the scavenger camps. Our starting four tanks will be enough to fend off the first two waves of attackers, as well as reduce the property values of some pre-war housing. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Unit under attack. We're going to want to increase our unit count for the next part, so let's prepare a half dozen tanks, as well as recycling the damaged ones to save their drivers for a fresh replacement. Construction completed. This will include making our first official tank design, the Machine Gun Viper Wheels, which is, yes, exactly the tank we've been using up to this point. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Production completed. Production completed. Production completed. Production completed.
The first scavenger base is just a little to the northwest here. It consists of nothing more than a few scattered units, a power plant, an oil derrick, and a machine gun guard tower. After clearing it, we'll be able to pick up an oil barrel worth 100 power and our first artifact. Scavenger outpost detected. Unit under attack. Artifact detected. Unit under attack. Eradicated. Power resource. You may have noticed me selecting individual wall segments to target. Each enemy structure is worth a point of experience to the tank that kills it, and walls are no different. However, once all functional buildings in a base are dead, the rest of the base explodes automatically. I'll come back to this point later in the video. For now, let's send a truck up here to prepare to cap the oil resource once it stops burning, and recycle and rebuild our tank force again up to 8 units this time. I'll leave the mostly undamaged tanks on the road to fight off scavenger counterattacks, which will mostly be a few Rambos and a tricycle. Starting our research of our first ever artifact is also a good idea. Production completed. Production completed. Unit under attack. Major research completed. Production completed. Production completed. Construction completed. Unit under attack. The next scavenger base is directly north of us and contains two guard towers, an oil derrick, a power plant, and a factory. Any units that would have been part of an unfinished counterattack group will also be present. Eight tanks should be enough to level it, with only one or two having to retreat due to damage. Scavenger base detected. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Power resource. Scavenger base detected. With the base destroyed and the new research started, we'll set up a truck to build a third factory and cap the oil resource. This position will be a forward base for the rest of the stage. Major research completed. You may have noticed me moving the group laterally in front of the target. This serves two purposes. First, it allows our units a line of fire to hit the tower instead of the walls, which, once we run into an opponent whose forces are stronger than a chain link fence, will be important. And second, by keeping the tanks moving, it gives a better chance for a tank that is trying to retreat due to damage to not have his escape prevented by getting hung up on other tanks. Major research completed. The next target will be just west of us. Eight tanks will be sufficient for it as well, but we're going to want to make sure they are healthy for the assault. While preparing for this, make sure to keep your group here to defend the forward base from another scavenger attack, where in addition to more Rambos and tricycles, they will augment their force with an ATV or two. Construction completed. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Production completed. With the scavenger attack repelled, this is a good time to find a 100 power oil barrel hidden in a cliffside. 
Clearly, whoever put these here went to the Castlevania school of securing your possessions. Production completed. Unit under attack. This base will have four machine gun towers, a factory, and any units that were part of an unfinished counterattack group. I'm not entirely sure what the tower in the center of the base is, as it appears the scavengers forgot to put anything on top of it. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Artifact detected. Artifact recovered. Unit under attack. Research completed. Scavenger base eradicated. There's only one more scavenger base left, here. And again, eight of our machine gun tanks will be sufficient for it, so long as they are undamaged. So recycle any damaged units, and let's prepare for the final assault. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Production completed. Major research completed. Now is a good time to go through some of the technology we've gotten our hands on. Weapon research completed. Weapon research completed. The first is these two machine gun damage upgrades. All upgrades in this game are automatic, so in this case, as soon as the research finished, all machine guns that we had were updated with the additional damage. Weapon research completed. Next up is the Flamer. The Flamer is a new type of weapon. It is incredibly potent against infantry, light vehicles, soft structures, and bunkers. Basically everything we fought so far. However, you may have noticed that I have not designed one. This is because of the strategic situation of the campaign. Against scavengers, the machine gun is just as economical as the Flamer against these same targets, and without the downsides of lower hit points and a much shorter firing range. This is problematic for Flamers because it means that not only do they die faster, but they also get focus fired more heavily. And once we find more potent enemies where machine guns won't do the job, we'll have access to other, more safe options to do said job. I'm not saying the flamer is useless, it certainly hurts, and in skirmish and multiplayer games, it can be great depending on what your opponent is doing and what exact version of the game you are on. But as this is a campaign walkthrough, multiplayer is beyond the scope of it. Structure research completed. And the machine gun guard tower. The machine gun guard tower is our first base defense. It isn't exceptionally good, as it's only about as survivable as the scavenger towers we've been mowing down, but it's still better than nothing. If you noticed at the top of the screen, I just sped up the gameplay to 1.5 times. This is so that the recycling and rebuilding process will go by a bit faster. Production completed. If you wish to do this in your own game, the default keyboard shortcuts for speeding and slowing gameplay are Control Plus and Control Minus. Unit under attack. Production completed. Production completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. With eight healthy tanks ready to go, we're ready to finish the last objective. I'm going to give my entire team a command to hold fire. This does mean that every target I want to shoot, I will have to manually click, but it's worth it for what I will describe as dragging out the stage. 
Scavenger base detected. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. And this is the reason to hold fire. While we want to kill the two forward machine gun towers and two rear flamer towers to stop them from firing at us, and we want to eliminate the factory to stop it from making more units, this building here has no strategic impact on the stage. It neither can do anything to harm us, nor does it hold an artifact for us to grab. Therefore, we want to eliminate the entire rest of the base, picking up the factory's artifact and the multiple oil barrels behind it, but leave this building so that the stage does not end. Artifact detected. Artifact recovered. And now, since machine guns outrange flamers, I'll take a single tank, set it to long range fire, and use it to carefully take out the towers, leaving up the critical structure. While still holding fire, I'll move into the base, take out a few rundown outhouses, pick up the oil barrels, and back out. Major research completed. At this point, the stage is complete, and I can end it at any time by destroying the final structure. However, since Warzone 2100 is a game where your base units and money carry from stage to stage, there is an impetus to get as much out of a stage as you can. To that end, in this stage and all future ones, I will let the clock run down for a while, using that time to complete research, retool my forces, and expand my base to prepare for future missions. I won't subject you to watching the game while I do most of that, since part of it is me thinking to myself what I want, and you aren't here to watch me think, so for this and all future stages, I will cut to just the key elements of the stage's remainder. Major research completed. Major research completed. Systems research completed. Three other items are available to research this stage. The first is this engineering research, which simply speeds up the construction rate of all of your trucks. Structure research completed. Second is the tank trap. It's simply a constructible no-drive zone and is easily destroyed by weapons fire. I won't be building any, but this research is required for more techs later down the line, so I may as well get it out of the way. Systems research completed. Third, and most importantly, is the end of us having to continuously recycle damaged units. This is the repair turret, allowing you to design a repair tank that can repair damaged units. I will be immediately designing and building one of these to sit at the HQ and repair any unit that returns to it damaged. You can also, if you desire in your own campaign, make some to follow around your combat tanks to repair them in the field. I personally won't be doing that as I despise the micromanagement necessary to instruct damaged units to simply fall behind the main line rather than giving them retreat of damage orders, but I certainly won't stop someone who's better at that than I am. But until we get another tech in a few stages, this will at least allow us to not have to check the HQ every fight to see if someone is sitting there in their busted Viper wheels. Construction completed.
Construction completed. Production completed. Welcome back. I have just finished saving the game, which I highly recommend everyone doing. While the autosave feature is quite useful for unexpected power outages or when you really need a soda and can't take the time to pause first, it's still useful to always maintain two hard saves. One right before the end of a given stage, so that you can make some last minute adjustments if you find you need something right at the start of the next stage, and one save right at the start of a stage, especially before lifting off for away missions, so that you can apply what you learn from playing the stage to repeat attempts at it. And now, the final wrap-up, where I show exactly what my base and forces look like before ending the stage proper. Five minutes remaining. This is the main base. I have increased my power plant count to three, my research facilities to four, two factories, and I have three machine gun guard towers positioned south of the base structures for reasons that will become apparent next stage. I also have my eight combat tanks, along with a repair tank and a spare truck ready for the next stage. Over here, I have a truck backing up three guard towers, aligned against potential aggression from the south. One oil derrick out here by its lonesome. And the northern outpost, which for now consists of just a factory, derrick, and three guard towers. And that's it. With everything taken care of, I'll give a lone truck a command to erect a guard tower to eliminate the final enemy structure, which will bring the stage to a close. I hope you enjoyed the start of this series, and I will see you in Alpha 2. Construction completed. Scavenger Bay objective accomplished.